Hello and welcome everybody to my channel Omni Bio Entrance and today we will be seeing University of Hyderabad MSc Entrance Examination Question Paper for the subject Molecular Biology conducted in the year 2010. So coming to the first question. Recently during the month of April there was a radioactive element Cobalt-60 released that resulted in the death of a few people in Delhi. Now the question is Cobalt-60 is an. So Cobalt-60 is a multiple radiation emitter that is both alpha and sorry beta and gamma emitter. It is both beta and gamma emitter. Then identify the mismatch. Gale's disease, Leptospira interrogans, Salmonellasis, Salmonella species, Q fever, uh, Coxiella burnetti, Pistachiosis, Pasteurella uh, multicida. So answer is, which, uh, identity, the mismatch is Pistachiosis. It is caused by Chlamydia pistachia. So Pasteurella multicida mul is wrong mismatch for pistachiosis. The next one. Identify the correct match for whole cell absorption of chlorophylls. Chlorophyll A 745 to 760. Bacterial chlorophyll A 850 to, a, to 900, 910 nanometers. Chlor bacterial chlorophyll B 725 to 745. Bacterial chlorophyll C 715 to 725 nanometers. So the answer is bacterial chlorophyll A 850 to 910 nanometers. Option B. Then, during different microbiology and molecular biology related experiments, several reagents or solutions are required at different concentrations. One research scholar has converted some of the lab reagents or solutions concentration from higher metric unit to lower metric unit for his convenience. Identify the corresponding and equal concentration of reagent or solution between column A and column B. So the calculation I have done in my next slide and uh, here they have given the question that is L 10 mg per ml and we have to calculate from column B whether, uh, whether it is picogram or nanogram per microliter or milligram per microliter. So this is the calculation that I have done. So the option L is 10 mg per ml. We know that 1 mg per ml is equal to 1000 nanograms per microliter. So they have asked for 10 mg per ml which will be equal to 10 raised to 4 nanograms per microliter. So L is equal to 5. Then next one it is 0.1 mg per microliter. So 1 mg per microliter we know it is 1000 nanogram per ml. So 0.1 mg per microliter will be 100 nanograms per sorry 100 milligrams per ml. Okay, and 1 mg per ml is equal to 1000 nanograms per microliter. So 100 mg per ml will be 10 raised to 5 nanograms per microliter. So m is 6. Then next one, 100 micrograms per microliter. 1 microgram per, sorry, ml. 1 microgram per ml is 1 nanogram per microliter. So 100 microgram per ml will be 100 nanograms per microliter. That is 0 0.01 nanograms per microliter. It is 1 picogram per microliter is equal to 0 0.001 nanograms per microliter. Or that is equal to 0 0.1 nanogram per microliter. So it will be 100 picograms per microliter. So O is 1. So the answer is B L5 N6 N2 O1. Now next question, NCBI is one of the most frequently used biological database which provides informa several information about biological sciences, biomedical research, genomic information and other DNA, RNA, protein related sequence related tools. NCBI stands for, it stands for National Center for Biotechnology Information. So answer is option A, National Center for Biotechnology Information. The next one, 
a dominant allele C must be present in order for any pigment to develop in the mice. The kind of pigment produced depend upon another locus such that capital B produces black and small b small b produces brown color. Individuals with epistatic genotype that is small c small c are incapable of making pigment and are called albinos. If all the albino F2 mice are allowed to mate at random, what genotypic ratio is obtained in the progeny? So they have asked for the genotypic ratio. Now if the dominant allele C is present, uh, pigment will develop, in, will develop in mice. And there are two kinds of pigments that are produced in mice. One is by the locus capital B. It produces black and the small b produces brown color. Now individuals with epistatic genotype that is CC, small c, small c, they are incapable of making any pigment and are called as albinos. So once you do the cross that is once you mate the F2 mice that is all albino F2 mice. So albino means they will be having only small c, small c, capital C will not be present. So the progeny also will be carrying only the capital C, sorry, small c and no capital C will be carried by the progenies of, of cross between the albinos. So various albino F2 mice are allowed to mate at random. What genotypic ratio is obtained in the progeny? So since it is albino, uh, they have told that the small c, small c genotype is responsible for making the albino pigment and whereas capital C is for color pigment. Now whether the mice is having capital B or small b doesn't matter because since small c is present all will be albino. So you have to see from options which is having small c. Now option B can be uh, removed uh, can be um, can uh, cannot be considered as an answer because it is having capital C and here one fourth or four four genotypes are with BB only that cannot be possible. So option B is not correct. Now if you take option C here there is a capital C which is not possible because uh, you are using an F2 mice and it is homozygous for small c small c so naturally it will not produce any colored offsprings so capital c is not a possible genotypic uh, in option c similarly for option d also you are having capital c so that is not the answer so the answer will be capital a uh, option a which is having small c in the genotype so answer is option a now Match the best combination of the following chemicals in column A with their common names in column B. So 1, 2, dihydroxyanthroquinone that is al alizarin L4. So option B and option C can be striked out because option B is L1 and D is L3. So L4 is the answer. Then formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is formalin M2. So again a tie up between A and C. Then next one. Bicyclic terpene ketone. That is camphor N1. So answer will be option A. But we will see for the other option also. That is polyamide. O3 is nylon 6, 6. So answer is option A. A, L4, M2, N1, 3. This, this is a plant accidentally exported to India with American wheat products and is predominantly found in India and is called as Congress weed. So what is the name they have asked? It is called as Parthenium Hysterophorus. Answer is option A. Then next one. What is the IUPAC name of the organic compound? It is from, uh, we have to start numbering from this carbon atom. First CH3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 minute, 1 minute, 1 minute. We have to start numbering from the carboxylic acid group. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 hydroxy, 2 methyl, 
and 1, 2, 3, 4, we have 4 carbon atoms, so it is butanoic acid. So answer is option D, I have to start numbering from the carboxylic acid side. According to the UPSC nomenclature system. Then the structure represented below is, this is of testosterone, answer is option D. The structure represented is of testosterone. Then next one. Which of the following is called as earth star fungus? It is myriostoma coliforme. Answer is option A. Then next one. Which, which of the following is not a dietary antioxidant? So the answer is option C. That is beta carotene. It is not a dietary antioxidant. Option. Then next one. Gangrene, psychotic delusion, nervous spasm, abortion and convulsions occur due to a toxic condition in humans and animals. Identify the microorganism that produces such toxins. So such toxins are produced by Claviceps purpurea. It is a fungus. So answer is option B. Then DDT is an effective insecticide particularly for mosquitoes, flies and crop pests. DDT is prepared. So it is prepared by option D. That is by the condensation of chlorobenzene with chloral in the presence of sulfuric acid. So answer is option D. Now next one. Match the best combination of the following compounds in column A with their chemical formula in column B. So chloropicrine. It is CCL3NO2, L4. So A and D can be striked out. We will see for B and C. Then phosgene. Phosgene is COCL2, M2. So again, tie up between B and C. Okay, we'll see for the next one. Laughing gas, that is nitrous oxide. So N, N, N2O. So uh, option B will be correct. It's not 1. 2 O2 is not this N2O. That is nitrous oxide. So answer is option C. Option B and Freon is Freon is CCL2F2. So answer is option B. Then next one. Percentage composition of an organic substance as determined by analysis was carbon 14.5, hydrogen 1.8, chlorine 64.46, oxygen 19.24. Based upon these data, which one of the following will be its empirical formulae? So we are, they have given some uh, organic substances. The percentage composition of these organic substance and the components have been given and... Uh, or elements I can say carbon hydrogen chlorine oxygen or elements are given and based on this data we are asked to calculate the empirical formula so the for the form for the calculation of empirical formula we have certain steps so step one is percentage composition of the elements present in the compound so we know carbon is 14.5 hydrogen is 1.8 chlorine is 64.46 and oxygen is 19.24 now we have to divide these um, per values by their atomic weights so atomic weight of carbon is 12 so 14.5 divided by 12 for hydrogen it is 1 so 1 1.8 divided by 1 for chlorine is it is 64.46 divided by 35.5 and for oxygen it is 19.24 divided by 16 then you get certain values then divide these values obtained in step 2 among them by the smallest number so out of these, the smallest number is 1.2. So you have to divide by each of them with 1.2. So for carbon, the value was 1.21. Uh, so 1.21 divided by 1.2 will be 1. Then next is hydrogen. It is 1.8 divided by 1.2. It is 1.5. 1.81 divided by 1.2 is 1.5. 1.2 divided by 1.2 it is 1. Now multiplication by a suitable integer to get whole number ratio. So <clears throat> here if we multiply by 2, we can get a whole number ratio. So 2, 1.5 into 2 is 3 and 1.2 into 1 is 2. Then simplest ratio of the atoms of different elements in the compound. So C is to H is to Cl is to O. That is 2 is to 3 is to 3 is to 2. So empirical formula will be. C 
C2H3Cl3O2. So answer is C2H3Cl3O2. Answer is option C. Now next one. <coughs> Sorry. Next one. Crassulation acid metabolism is seen in this kind of plants. It is seen usually in cirrophytes. Answer is option C. One of the carnivorous plant given below uses fly paper trap mechanism to capture the prey. So the fly paper trap method is used by Dionia muscipula. Mus mus Answer is option D. Then what is the name of the specialized sensory organ found in snakes? It is called Jacobson's organ answer is option c all these are just direct questions the next one identify the correct match so club fungus it is ascomycota is club fungus no it is club fungus is deciduomycota then deciduomycota is sac fungi no sac fungi is ascomycota deuteromycota is fungi imperfecti that is correct so Deuteromycota fungi imperfecti is the correct match. Then Zygomycota club fungi. Zygomycota is terrestrial fungus. Then next one. So answer is option C. Then identify the human immunoglobulin from the left column with their most closely related function in the right column. So IgA. IgA is exocrine secretion so l3 so a and d can be striked out and we will see for b and c option then ige is sensitized mast cells so option b will be correct but we will see the other options also then igg igg is um, passes from mother to fetus through placenta so igg is n2 and igm is first antibody class produced in a primary response to antigen and first antibody to be synthesized by neonate so that is igm so answer is option b then next one the benefit of measuring the initial rate of reaction is at the beginning of a reaction Changes in concentration of S are negligible. So, concentration of S can be treated as a constant. Changes in Km are negligible. So, Km can be treated as a constant. V0 is equal to Vmax. Varying concentration of S has no effect on V0. So, they have asked for the benefit of measuring the initial rate of a reaction. At the beginning of a reaction. So, what is the benefit? Yes, changes in concentration of S are negligible. So, concentration of S can be treated as a constant. So, that is the benefit of measuring initial rate of a reaction at the beginning of the reaction. Answer is option A. Then next one. An antibiotic should inhibit or kill the pathogen while harming host as little as possible. In this context, an antibiotic should focus on a microbial target not found in mammalian cells. By this standard, which of the following antibiotic agent would be expected to be most toxic to humans? So, out of this, the antibiotic is mitomycin. It is a carcin. It is a carcinogen. Okay. So, answer is option B. Then identify the mismatch. So, out of this, uh, Escherichia coli, MR negative, VP plus, indole plus. That is wrong. That is the mismatch, whereas all the others are correct. Actually, Escherichia coli is MR plus, VP minus, and Indole plus. Then next one. The following data were obtained in a study of an enzyme known to follow Michaelis Menten kinetics. The Km of the enzyme is approximately. Now, we all know that the Km value is substrate concentration at half Vmax. So, half Vmax we have to find out. So, maximum velocity is at 647. So, 647 divided by 2 will be 323. That will be near to the V0 value 325. So, and will have a substrate concentration of 2 micromolar. So, the Km of the enzyme will be 2. Answer is of B.
then next one monotrapa indian pipe plant is so it is a non photosynthetic plant that obtains its carbohydrates by mycorrhizal fungi so answer is option c actinorhizal plants actinorhizal plants include red alder and casuarina that is option d then mycorrhizal roots contain symbiotic organisms which help primarily in the process of so mycorrhizal uh, roots contain symbiotic organism and these organism they help in the uptake of or absorption of phosphorus and water so answer is option c then next one the most common phycobiont in lichens is so they have asked for the algal partner in uh, in lichens so it is the green alga and uh, and it is called triboxia answer is option d a fungus parasiting another fungus is called it is called as a mycoparasite answer is option d the living fossil ginkgo biloba is it is a gymnosperm answer is option b the next one the organism spirogyra is so named because of the nature of chloroplast it is spiral so answer is option a nematophores are associated with they are found usually with the mangroves answer is option b in which of the following groups would you place a plant which produces seeds but lack flowers so the, those which produces seeds but lack flowers are gymnosperms answer is option d then next one how many atp and reducing equivalents required to synthesize one molecule of hexose by calvin cycle in c3 plants so c3 plants require 18 atp and 12 nadph for um, synthesizing one molecule of hexose by calvin cycle then the core nucleosome structure is due to it is due to histone h2a h2b h3 and h4 so answer is option b then sargassum is a genus of brown macro alga in the order fucales which comes in the class it comes in the class phaeophysia it is brown alga so brown alga is called as phaeophysia rhodophysia is red alga so answer is option b then people generally enjoy picking mushrooms when they see them in the wild however there are quite a number of very dangerous wild mushrooms for example some in the genus called amantia now which one of the following is not a distinguishing characteristic of the genus amantia so genus amantia doesn't have blue colored rings so option a is not a characteristic of amantia it has a cup at its base it has white gills and ring stem but blue colored rings are not found in amantia so answer is option a the next one the synthesis of starch and sucrose in plants uses dash as the substrate rather than dash which is used in the synthesis of glycogen in animal cells so plants uses adp glucose instead of udp glucose which is used in the synthesis of glycogen in animal cells so synthesis of starch and sucrose in plants uses adp glucose adp glucose and uh, for glycogen synthesis in animal cell they use udp glucose the next one in a cell the number of chromosomes is 24 after first meiosis the number of chromosome in its daughter cells after completion of meiosis will be so after the first meiosis the chromosome number is 24 now if the if the number of chromosome in a cell after meiosis is 24 then after meiosis 2 the daughter cells will also have 24 chromosome because meiosis 2 is just an equational division so answer is option a 24 then what part of lipid molecule is in the middle of a lipid bilayer of the cell membrane so answer is option c fatty acid cells can be described as having a cytoskeleton 
of internal structures that contribute to the shape, organization and movement of the cell. All of the following are part of the cytoskeleton except cell wall is not a part of the cytoskeleton whereas microtubules, actin filament, intermediate filaments all are part of the cytoskeleton. So answer is option A. The next one. Which of the following pairs of genera are members of the cygomycetes class and can be seen on microscopic examination to possess rhizoids? So those that belong to cygomycet and possess rhizoids. So there they will be rhizopus and absidia. Answer is option A. Now next one. The phenomenon of exudation of water from the leaves during cool nights is called as, it is called as guttation. Answer is option C. Then, schizogony and schizont stage in the life history of malarial parasite occurring. So, it occur in RBCs and the liver of man. Answer is option A. Cartilage is produced by, they are produced by chondrocytes. Answer is option B. The next one, most hormones, particularly those released by the hypothalamus and pituitary, fall into which of the following chemical class? So, most hormones, um, those released by hypothalamus and pituitary, they fall in the class that is peptide hormones. That answer is option C. A gene inherited from a female is not expressed in either male or female offspring. But the same gene is expressed in both male and female offspring if inherited from a male. So this phenomenon is called, this is called as imprinting. In this, a gene is inherited from a female, is not expressed in either male or female. Okay, but if the same gene is uh, inherited from a male organism instead of the female, then it will be expressed in both female and male offspring. So, one parent is contributing to the expression of the gene, whereas the other parent, even though it has got the gene, is not contributing for the expression of this particular gene. So, it is called as imprinting. Answer is option D. Which of the following hormone controls the mood, appetite and sleep? It is called aerotonin. Answer is option C. Now, next one. Which of the following cellular activity is not promoted by insulin? The storage of glycogen by the liver, that's correct. The storage of glycogen by muscles, that is also correct. The storage of fats by adipose tissues, that is fat cells, that is also correct. All three are cellular activity promoted by insulin, but creation of glucose from amino acids is not promoted by insulin. So, answer is option D. The organism Entrobius vermicularis belong to order. It belong to order Oxyurida. Answer is option B. The next one. Which of the following processes lead to the formation of polytin chromosome in salivary glands of Drosophila? Now, polytin chromosomes are due to repeated replication without separation of chromatids. Answer is option A. Then next one, the mode of action of a steroid hormone involves, it involves modifying the gene transcription. That is the mode of action of steroid hormone. Then next one, which of the following most closely resembles the mammals sharing with them several derived features of the skull and teeth? So it is the cynodonts that closely resembles the mammals. So answer is option C. Then next one. Highly developed organisms are made up of many different cell types. In order for the organism to function properly, the cells must work together. This is accomplished by various types of chemicals that act as messengers to the cell. Each chemical messenger has specific effect on its target cell. This is called signal transduction. So they are telling about signal transduction. Now, hormones are good example of chemical messengers. Steroid hormones such as estrogen are non-polar and can thus diffuse across the cell membrane. However, polar hormones cannot. For this message to enter the cell, these polar hormones must. 
so non polar hormones that is steroid hormones such as estrogen they can diffuse across the cell membrane whereas uh, polar hormones they cannot diffuse across the cell membrane so how do these polar hormones um, send their messages so how do they do is bind to receptor on the cell surface answer is option b next one giardia is it is a eukaryote that lacks mitochondria and causes beaver fever answer is option c then next one during acute non specific inflammation the first leukocytes to arrive at the site of tissue damage are they are called as neutrophils answer is option d then next one a person does not normally produce antibodies or activated t cells to self antigen due to the presence of it is due to the presence of what is called as hla complex that is human leukocyte antigen answer is option c then which of the following drug is used as anti helminthic for the treatment of ascariasis this drug causes flaccid paralysis of ascariasis by ascaris by blocking acetylcholine at the neuro my, myoneuronal junction so this chemical is called as piperazine answer is option a then which of the following interleukins enhances the type 1 hypersensitivity reaction it is interleukin 4 answer is option d next one who proposed the theory stating that cell emerges from pre existing cells by cell division so it was rudolf virko who stated this theory now next one the rna virus having dna as an intermediate in its life cycle is so it is human immunodeficiency virus or hiv answer is option a the hinge region of an immunoglobulin igg heavy chain is located so they have asked about the immunoglobulin structure so they have asked specifically about the hinge region where it is located in the immunoglobulin heavy chain so between ch1 and ch2 answer is option c there you have got the hinge region then next one when ethylene is treated with sulfur monochloride a toxic product is obtained which is it is called as mustard gas answer is option c so coming to the next question when an unsymmetrical reagent adds to an unsymmetrical double bond the positive part of the reagent becomes attached to the double bonded carbon atom which bears the greatest number of hydrogen atoms this rule is popularly known as it is called as marking mark markovinok rule so answer is option d then next one when benzene diazonium salt solution is treated with cuprous chloride cuprous bromide or cuprous cyanide the product is chlorobenzene bromobenzene or benzonitrile these reactions are called as san meyers reaction answer is option c then next one agarose gel electrophoresis is very common experiment in molecular biology this agarose is a linear polysaccharide which comprises of alternating units so they have asked for the units in agarose uh, polysaccharide so it is having d galactose and 3 6 and hydrogalactose so answer is option a then mitochondrial atp synthesis does not require a h plus gradient a membrane potential and intact inner mitochondrial membrane and electron gradient so it does not require an electron gradient it requires an h plus gradient so answer is option d which of the following gas evolved in bhopal gas tragedy of 1984 it was methyl isocyanate so answer is option c next one aromatic amino acids are synthesized from which of the following precursors so they are synthesized from erythrose 4 phosphate and phosphoenol pyruvate answer is option b then which of the following enzyme is not a part of the glycolysis cycle hexokinase enolase aconitase phosphoglycerate kinase 
so aconitase comes in the krebs cycle so it is uh, or tricarboxylic acid cycle so it is answer is option c biomolecules such as dna rna proteins and carbohydrates are made up of covalently bound constituent elements these biomolecules are able to reversibly interact with other biomolecules by means of weaker non covalent bonds which of the following statement correctly characterizes a form of non covalent bonding so an ionic bond is formed between fully charged atoms or molecule so answer is option b then next one the ph of a solution is the negative logarithm of the concentration of h plus ions with this in mind which of the following solution has the greatest concentration of h plus ions so option a is having it is a solution with ph1 so the hydrogen ion concentration will be 1 in 10 raised to minus 1 b will be 1 in 10 raised to minus 7 and c will be 1 in 10 raised to minus 2 and d will be 1 in 10 raised to minus uh 10 so they have asked which of the following has the greatest concentration of h plus ions so it is answer is option a a solution with ph of 1 then next one if glucose labeled with c14 in c1 were fed to yeast carrying out the ethanol fermentation where would the c14 label be in the products so in c2 that is methyl group of ethanol only answer is option b then phosphoric acid is tribasic with pks of 2.14 6.86 and 12.4 the ionic form that predominates at ph 3.2 is it is answer is option b that is h2po4 minus predominates at ph 3.2 compounds that generate nitrous acid such as nitrate nitrites nitrates and nitrosamines change dna molecules by so these causes deamination of the dna bases so answer is option b then next one during isolation and purification of genomic dna from an organism a proper ratio of phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol is used if proper ratio and care is not taken into consideration then chloroform may undergo oxidation in the presence of light and air and the compound formed will be so they have asked for if the chloroform undergoes oxidation in presence of light and air then it will result in a compound that is called as phosgene answer is option d a d amino acid would interrupt an alpha helix made of l amino acids another naturally occurring hindrance to the formation of an alpha helix is the presence of so it is the presence of proline residues that will uh, cause um, hindrance to the formation of alpha helix then next one for the following reaction fad plus 2 cytochrome c fe2 plus plus 2h plus give fadh2 plus 2 cytochrome c plus fe3 the electron donor is so electron donor is Mm. the fully oxidized fad is converted to the reduced form fadh2 by receiving two electrons and two protons so that is the mm, re the reduced product is fadh2 and uh, the electron donor is two cytochrome c fe2 plus so answer is option a A gram negative coccoid proteobacterium found in the ocean sediments of the continental shelf of Namibia was regarded as the largest bacterium ever discovered generally 100 to 300 micromolar wide but sometimes up to 750 micrometers this is so the bacterium is uh, Thiomargarita namibiens answer is option A 
Then leuconostox lack catalase and cytochromes and carry out heterolactic fermentation by converting glucose to lactate and ethanol or acetic acid by means of which pathway. So it is the phosphoketolase pathway that they adopt. Answer is option. Now next one. The largest plant virus reported as of today. So Poti virus is the largest currently recognized genus of plant infecting positive strand RNA viruses. So tobacco H virus and citrus triestia virus is the uh, and uh, so tobacco is the largest virus is tobacco mosaic uh, sorry tobacco H virus and citrus triestia virus it is the longest virus. So answer is option B. Then methylotropes are bacteria. They utilize methanol. So bacteria which utilize methanol are called methylotropes. Then next one. Lysine iron agar is used to differentiate bacteria that can either deaminate or decarboxylate lysine. So lysine iron agar is used to differentiate bacteria that can either Deaminate or decarboxylate lysine. Then next one. For any color to be developed in the alluron layer of cone kernels, the dominant alleles at two loci plus recessive condition at the third locus must be present. So for any color to be developed in the alluron layer of cone kernels, the dominant alleles that is capital A, capital R, plus the recessive condition at the third locus that is small i must be present. Any other genotypes will produce colorless alluron. What phenotypic ratio of colored is to colorless would be expected in the progeny after mating between the parental plants of genotype? So these are the parental plants that they have given. That is capital A, small a, all are heterozygous for their respective characters. So you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 gametes from both the parents each. Then upon crossing you will get all these, what I have drawn is a Punnett square. So all these are, um, combination of genotypes you will be getting after drawing the Punnett square. And from that, if you see, you will get 9 colored and 50 colorless progeny. So, answer is 9 colored, 55 colorless. Then next one. What would be the approximate number of microorganisms present on this earth? So it will be 5 into 10 raised to 30. Answer is option C. Then which of the following single nucleotide mutation is in an mRNA codon is most likely to be silent mutation. So here there are two options that is UUU and UUC they both code for phenylalanine. So that is um, an example of uh, silent mutation because there won't be change in the polypeptide sequence even though the codon has been changed they these two codons they code for phenylalanine so phenylalanine will be replaced by another phenylalanine so it will be a silent mutation you will not see any difference in the codon similarly AGA and CGA they both code for arginine so these two can be the answers I don't have your answer key so as per me, both B and C will result in silent mutation because they code for the same amino acid. So it will not cause any resulting change in the protein that is synthesized. So coming to the next question. If thymine makes 20% of the basis in a DNA molecule, what will be the percentage of cytosine in the same DNA molecule? So they have told that 20% of the basis is thymine. So since DNA is a double stranded DNA molecule and uh, A pairs with T. So the number of adenine also will be 20%. So all together A plus T will give you 40. Out of 100, 60 will be G plus C. That is 
guanine plus cytosine 100 minus 40 is equal to 60 so they have asked only for the percentage of cytosine not of cytosine and guanine so for site so divide 60 by 2 so it will be 30 percent so cytosine will be 30 percent answer is option b Studies based on rRNA comparison suggested that protista was not a coherent taxonomic unit and that it should be divided into three or more kingdoms. That led to the widespread feeling that with, with takers five kingdom classification was too simple with reference to the microorganism. Identify the scientists among the following whose contributions were highly relevant for this major milestone in classification of microbes. So it was answer is option C that is Carl Boos. Then next one. Enrichment culture technique and the use of selective media which have been of great importance in microbiology were begun by these scientists. So it was uh, Sergi Vinogradsky and Martinus Bejering. Answer is option C. Then, high frequency gene transfer of chromosomal genes can be achieved in E. coli in the following mating. So, HFR plus in and F minus, yes, you can attain high frequency of chromosomal gene transfer. F plus F minus, no. HFR, HFR, no. F, F plus also no. So answer is HFR into F minus. So coming to the next question. A diploid plant has genotype capital A small a, capital B capital B, small c small c, capital D small d uh, at 4 gene loci. In the population there is one dominant and one recessive allele for each loci. How many different types of gametes will this individual produce? So you have got the formula for calculating the number of gametes that is 2 raised to n where n is the number of heterozygotes in the given genotype. So here uh, they have given two heterozygous individuals that is capital A small a and capital D small d. So substituting in the formula 2 raised to n is equal to 2 raised to 2 that is 4. So, answer is option B, 4. Bacterial membranes are similar to eukaryotic membranes in that many of their amphipathic lipids are phospholipids. But they usually differ from eukaryotic membranes in lacking sterol such as cholesterol. They have sterol-like molecules which might have significantly contributed to the formation of petroleum. Select the compounds from among the following they are called as hopanoids answer is option b then cyanobacteria myxobacteria cytophages and some mycoplasmas have a different type of motility with no visible external structures associated with this kind of motility that is popularly known as it is called as gliding motility answer is option then next one in Drosophila, the yellow body color gene is located 2 cm two centimorgan away from the white gene locus. In female heterozygous for both recessive gene loci, what fraction of the gametes would be expected to have undergone a crossover between these genes? So they have given frequency of crossing over is 2%. That is, that is the gene is located 2 centimorgan away. So the frequency of crossing over will be 2%. Now recombinants will be 1%, the other rest will be the parental combinations. So 1 divided by 100 is 0 0.1. So the answer is option C. The next one. Identify the causative agent from column B for the following diseases from column A. So, toxic shock syndrome, it is caused by Staphylococcus aureus, L6. Then next one, gas gangrene, it is caused by Colostridium perfringens. So, and, okay, and Kuru leprosy, it is caused by prions, that is option 3. And sleeping sickness, sleeping sickness is caused by Trypanosoma gambiens. So, answer is option A, L6, M1, N3, O4. Then next one, 
some amino acids have ionizable side chains which amino acid would have this titration curve so this particular titration curve is for cysteine answer is option c then sex linked recessive alleles are usually carried on they the part of the x chromosome non homologous with the y chromosome so sex linked recessive alleles are carried on that part of the x chromosome which doesn't have any homolog that is non homolog with the y chromosome then identify the following antibiotics from column a to their mode of action in column b cephalosporin it is an antibacterial so l1 then nystatin nystatin is antifungus m4 bleomycin it is anti cancer and anti tumor and artemisin artemisin is anti malarial so answer is option d l1 m4 n5 o2 then gram positive bacteria have they have a thick homogeneous layer of peptidoglycan and tacoic acids so answer is option a so that's it thank you for watching my channel please like share and subscribe thank you